What up? Missed work yesterday. In case y'all missed that video, me crying in the bed for two hours. <laughs> that was a fun video. It really was, though. Not a lot of shit that mattered to me. Hold up. I'll be right back. Oh my god! You did not. I did! Oh! You fucking asshole. I'm so mad at myself right now, you guys. I'm so mad. In case y'all don't know why I'm mad, because as you probably already figured out, we have anger problems. So, I left my keyboard on all goddamn night. Again. I'm such a bad person. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking I really need to get my insurance before I go down to Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, you do. Jesus Christ. So, uh, yeah, I missed work yesterday because my anxiety was, like, through the roof. See, there are a lot of days that I can just do it, you know? I'll just go in. And I don't know if it's like just to prove to myself that I can do it or I just like try to pretend that I'm like a normal ass person that doesn't have really terrible anxiety and depression and shit. But fuck this hat. Um, I mean, I love your hat, but I just don't feel like wearing you right now. No offense. Uh, <laughs> I. Like some days, I can just like eat some pot and be cool, but other days it, it just doesn't work out. Like, I guess like for the same reason that I stopped taking my medication. Like when I'm really, really upset, like I can't just get high and forget about it. You know, I realize that because like a lot of people think that like I just I'm a control freak. So I just choose marijuana. Like I'd rather trust myself than a fucking doctor. Duh. Doctors don't know anything, especially not about borderline personality disorder. So. They just don't want to diagnose it because it's basically like a pretty shit end of the stick, you know? Like, if you diagnose somebody with borderline, that just essentially means, like, okay, well, not only is the shrink going to be out of a job, but it's kind of like, you know, there's there's major stigma with personality disorders, and uh, it's like when you tell somebody that they have something like that, it's, it's like a near-death sentence. <laughs> so... Like, most people don't want to hear that, but most people need to hear that, though, if that's what's really going on. They need to hear the truth, and not just some, like, sugar-coated bipolar bullshit. Um, because bipolar disorder is way easier to deal with, man. Like, shit, if you just take some psychedelic mushrooms, you won't even have any symptoms. 
I don't understand why people wouldn't want to do that. Why they'd rather just be on medication every fucking day. It's like, dude, take mushrooms. Then you get rewarded for being crazy. <laughs> uh, but anyway. I just feel like a total loser sometimes. Like yesterday, I felt like a total loser. Even though in that bed, I was a star. <laughs> like, I'm a loser. It's like I can't show up to work. I can't do what I want to do. Can't make it out to comedy. I can't promote myself. It's just there's so many things that like I'm just not I'm not like you, you know? Or you or you or you are you watching. I'm like that weirdo motherfucker that's watching, going, man, I really relate to this crazy shit. <laughs> Something about Jesus. They got they got like a bumper sticker. I hate when people have bumper stickers on their car and like you can't read them. I feel like that's dangerous. Because I really want to know what this Jesus bumper sticker is about. So I'm gonna like inch up really close to their car. Probably freak them the fuck out. It's like why are they getting so close to me? Why well, you shouldn't have put that bumper sticker on the back of your car, bitch. Oh, cool, there's a red light. I can get real close. <laughs> you were so fucking close to that. That's so funny. Jesus. Helping in Jesus' name. These wheels deliver meals. In God we trust. Okay, so they probably do something for like homeless people, which I guess is good, right? See, the thing is, I don't really agree with that either. Because I feel like you're just being like a good person because really want a sofa in the kingdom of heaven you know like I feel like that's rude it's condescending it's anything is condescending you know because like you make it seem like you're doing it out of like the goodness of your heart that you're just a really great person that thinks about other people that struggle more than you do but it's like no you're you're still doing it because like you want brownie points with the lord like I don't think that's noble at all. If anything, that seems more like ass kissing. Anyway. <laughs> you are so like, so right. You were so right about everything. I am now. I really fucking am. I gotta drink these like really shitty like nutritional shakes that like old people drink when they're about to die because they can't like eat real food. Like I just, this is what I'm talking about. Like I'm really self-destructive. The reason that I have PTSD, um, I mean the reason I have fibromyalgia is because I have PTSD and uh, I feel like the reason that I have uh, um, I mean, I know the reason I had a really bad anxiety attack yesterday was because um, I didn't eat. But like, when I'm really emotional, I'm in my head, I can't fucking eat. It's like I can't take a shower. Sometimes I can't sleep. 
Other times, that's all I can do is sleep. It's it's weird. But I realized that this wouldn't be as real. Like, I don't think that my comedy would be as good if I were on medication or, like, if I were, like, a healthier, less self-destructive person. I don't think it would resonate as much. I don't think that I would need to do it as badly as I do. Jesus Christ, man. Don't you hate it when you're just waiting at a light and it, like, nobody from the other side is coming, but it's like the light's still red. And so like everybody's just waiting like anxiously, angrily. <laughs> well, my general manager's here to scold me, so that's good, right? Maybe I'll get fired today. I doubt it, man. Like, there's nobody here to replace you. Like, they might have somebody show up for, like, three days, and then they'll probably fucking quit because they'll realize the place is a dump. Yeah, but, like, fucking, like, every restaurant's a dump. I don't think that people realize that, you know? They just think it'll be better somewhere else, but... Here's the thing. Nothing's better. Everything's the same fucking shit. Tennessee because I just keep telling myself that well, this kind of matches kind of not really well it's interesting because you got like the you got the orange and gray stripe and then you're wearing a red shirt and then there's red and gray stripes it's it's weird with a skull I got black pants see if I ever like match it's kind of weird it's not intentional I think, yeah, the reason I haven't moved to Tennessee is because I just, I, you know, I mean, that, that costs money to do that when I could just live in my head. That's free, you know? Imagination? Fuck yeah. 